JulieWaldorf, JulieWaldorf.com. And okay, Clint, tell us all about Elysians. And nobody's nobody has a sense of Elysian. Allegiance. Oh, okay, thank you. Allegiance is a commitment, uh, but it's not just a commitment. It's a commitment based upon an ethical construct, some type of ethical construct. We've taken the ethical constructs of former generations and really just said no. I mean, there's not the point. The older generations are not willing to uh, give the reasoning to the right rationale and the heart for this ethics that they want to promote, which I believe is good. And the younger generation don't have the patience and they, they don't get the point. So why should they be, why should they have this allegiance to this thing that they don't understand? The only allegiance that younger people have is probably to knowledge and they feel like they have all that in the internet. So unfortunately we have a lack of commitment in our society which has been construed as a lack of ownership. I just heard it in a... In a uh, uh, ownership of what? Just an, uh, taking ownership for, for just... Uh, self? Self and, and, and that community. And community, uh, yeah. Basically community is a matter of self-service day and age to younger and older people but it shouldn't be to older people because they know better they've been through wars they've been they've been through a lot I mean especially if you're from a foreign yeah. country um, they should know better but um, unfortunately um, they're not acting upon that they get, they, maybe they've gotten older they've gotten sick they're seeing that the, um, the, the, their medical is not being taken care of to the extent that they they want or need um, so there's so there's, That's, a, there's a reason why there's a lack of allegiance and a lack of commitment to ethics. And I, don't, I don't think it's fair to say that people just don't have ethics because that's, that's, a, that's a sweeping statement that's just not fair. Yeah, no, people have ethics and they want to do the right thing, I think. Most people do. People want to do the right thing, but they're uh -huh. not empowered to do the right thing. And they're actually frustrated from doing the right thing through bureaucracy um, and through just a lack of, well, just, just an overabundance of self-serving attitude that's out there. And it's just like, unfortunately, um, it's on the well, what do you, generation. So what do you think this one world order thing? I mean, that's how we got it, into this well, conversation in the first place. Is but, but see, this one world order thing basically assumes that there are people that actually get along <laughs> long yeah. enough to get something done. And yeah, I no, don't, that's not the case. And, and if you look at any government in the world right now, United Nations included, they're not getting stuff done. So I'm sorry. I think there's a one world disorder and I think it's amazing that we, when we get anything done and we should be grateful that anything gets done or accomplished because there's such a one world <laughs> disorder. Really I believe is. in the one world disorder. Well, and you're and that, saying because it's a lack of commitment. It's a lack of commitment, you know, exactly. Commitment. A lack of coming I'm, together. And that starts on a local level. Yeah. Community well, has to start on a local level. Someone is committed, level. there's hesitancy. Exactly. You know, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness. You know, until one commits oneself, then providence does move through. All right. sorts of things occur that otherwise would well, never have occurred. But see, commitment, whole stream of events. Commitment starts. Issues. The, the problem is, from is that com decision. Commitment is usually brought about. Is is tried to be pushed by the older folk by ideology. Where commitment can, in this generation, and these, well, these current generations, people, you have to go on a lower level. You have to start with, take a hunch, try it, try it for 30 days, 90 <laughs> days, and, and see how it works. And, and if they, uh, you, you know, and if it works, then you can, then you can ask for a longer commitment. But that's the problem, is that- Take that, a hunch, did you say? Yeah, take a hunch. Take a hunch. Yeah, I think you need to take a, take a hunch that something is right, and you might it might be worth your uh, you doing it for time a while. and energy to do it. Exactly. And do it for a while to right. see if providence moves through. through to see if all it, sorts of things occur. Right. To see if you can commitment. hang on with it, because there's just a there's just a general fear that people can't hang on to stuff and things are not worth hanging on to. So in yeah. that kind of time, you have to you have and, to kind people, of start where yeah, you're at. You're saying people aren't committed to people within the community, and that is what's going on, and that's why everything's I going. Think, I think people going. give lip service that they want to be, and the, the intention right. is there, right. but, but the, the overarching thought I hear, or thought stream, is mm -hmm. life gets in the way. And I'm kind of tired mm -hmm. of hearing life gets in the way. Right, right. Because it's like, life doesn't get in the way, life is it. 
Now this so, is life. This is life. Now this, this is, is what it. You got. This is what right. you get. This is what you got. You just got to exactly. make the decision and do it. Right. So yeah, I agree. I agree with you 100. percent All right. Well, thanks, Clint. Like always, have a beautiful day. One world disorder. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, actually order. Yeah, we and like no, to disorder. 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 Disorder.